What up YouTube, it's your boy, and I'm back with another video, man. You already know what I need you to do. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell, because it does go a long way with helping out the channel. If this is your first time, welcome to Hold My Nuts Podcast, where I know you're tired of releasing on your keyboards, your laptops, and your desktops, and you're tired of being manipulated and dominated by female culture, man. You are in the right place. If you've already been rocking with your boy, the love is real. Man, without further ado, oh, I got to make this announcement. Listen, my book right now is with the editor. It's complete in the sense of all the material has been written. Now it's being edited just to make sure, you know, it reads, you know, reads smoothly. And um, you guys can take any information, man. So be on the lookout for that really, really soon, man. It's coming. It's coming, it's coming, so I'm excited about that. But anyways, man, let's get back into the video. Urges versus temptation. Semen retention. Urges versus temptations. Semen retention. This is a very mysterious thing, man. Urges, temptations, we lump it all into the category of urges when we get on semen retention because there's so many things that's happening when we begin to retain our seed we've all talked about the dreams we've all talked about um you know the succubus spirit coming to to you know take your seed and and whatnot but we have to talk about the difference between urges and temptation now a lot of times we look at these urges as just being biological physical in nature and that's how i looked at the urges as well you know what i mean it's just you know you haven't released in a while your body starts to try to get you to release you got laws of nature try to get you to procreate and it's all lumped into this category of urges right it's all lumped into these categories of urges and we tend to think that the urges are temptations. But looking more deeply into this, looking at this situation, looking at these two things from a God's eye view, I see now that there is a difference between urges and temptation. And that is what we have to talk about today. So let's start off with the urges. Urges on semen retention is demonic influence. Urges is this uncontrollable, this almost wave of lust that comes over you. It makes you feel so erotic. It makes you feel so passionate about expressing yourself sexually because you have been retaining your seed you've been retaining your seed so this this these these urges are being dressed up as being temptations but this is not temptation this is a demonic wave of lust sent against you to get you to spill your seed on Satan's altar. I told you guys in my last video, or one of the videos I did the other day, that your seed contains the blood. And when you ejaculate, when you spill and waste your semen, you are dropping that semen on the altar of Satan. You're dropping that semen on the altar of Satan. When you begin to retain your seed, when you begin to practice semen retention, it is a very, very, very difficult thing because you're so prone to just being wasteful with your seed day in and day out, week in and week out, month in and month out, year in and year out. You're just used to this lifestyle. You've been doing this since you were 12, 13, 14 years old. This, this idea of masturbation has gripped you it has taken you, it has become a part of who you are. So when you begin to retain, these spirits don't like it. They lay dormant. You think these things are natural. You think these things are just 
happenstance. It's not. These are demonic influences that easily come and take a hold of you when you're a young man. When you're a young man. When, and if you have sons, you have to, you know, really explain this to them at a young age and pray that they don't get caught up in this trick, this lie that masturbation is something normal because they teach these type of things in the public schools. They will give this propaganda to these kids and have these kids thinking that these things are natural, but indeed these things are spiritual and they have very, very um, dire implications on one's life if you don't pick up on it and correct it and fight against it and nip that thing in the bud before it gets going. So your urges, when you have these urges, you wake up in the morning and you have this uncontrollable, this just intense passion to have sex. It's so intense to the point to where you may masturbate. You may masturbate before you get out of bed. You may masturbate. You may release your seed before you get out of bed because this urge is so strong. Now, mind you, this urge is not a temptation. It's a demonic wave of lust that has been sent against you. It is demonic influence embedded inside of you, around you, in order to get you to spill your seed on Satan's altar. When you begin to retain your seed, you will experience intense urges. It's very different than when you're living just a reckless sexual life. You're sleeping with this girl. You're sleeping with this girl. You're jacking off to this. You're jacking off to that. And you're just living that life and you're spilling your seed. Those urges don't come like that. But when you begin to hold your seed, you begin to cultivate the life source energy that is inside of you. These urges come, they come so strong and they come so intense and you really, really, really have to fight in order not to give in to the urge because they're intense. And if you've been practicing semen retention, if you've been following this channel, I know you know what I'm talking about and I know you know that it's true. Hit the like button for your boy, man. If you're watching this video up until this point, man, please hit the like button for your boy. That's all I ask. It's all I ask, bro. Hit the like button. But these urges are so intense. They're intense, man. They're intense. But this is a demonic influence that I want you to understand. So the next time you wake up and you have this uncontrollable um, passion to express yourself sexually, and you, you're, you're really, really just under the influence and being pressed to release your seed on Satan's altar, I want you to understand this. I want you to know this is that this is a demonic force pressing you to spill your seed. You can't see this entity. It's invisible, but it is there. It is there influencing you to drop your seed. It's there, bro. So please understand when you feel that hot passion to express yourself sexually, this is a demonic entity trying to get you to spill your seed. Now, let's get on to temptation. Temptation is totally different. Temptation is something that comes about when you're just doing your regular thing, right? You wake up, you go to work, you're doing your, 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 your everyday business, and then a situation presents itself in order for you to be tempted. It's like a test, right? It's a test that comes out of nowhere. Are you prepared for that test? Okay, so when you get presented with the temptation, now those feelings of lust and all that stuff can arise because the temptation of the forbidden fruit is being presented to you. It's very different from intense sexual urges that are demonic. A temptation is going to come. Temptation is going to come via Satan. Temptation is coming, but it's different than an uncontrollable urge. An uncontrollable urge is just happening for no reason other than a demonic force trying to get you to spill your seed. A temptation is a situation where you may be flirting with another man's wife. 
A temptation may be, um, you know, you're being tempted by a, a prostitute. A temptation may be you walk into the, the grocery store and you see something that triggers you to want to act on what you saw that you know is not appropriate for you, right? A temptation is for you to, to be out and to be minding your business and someone comes up to you and you can just see the lust oozing out of them and they just are so into you without even knowing you and they just want to, you can tell they're giving you this energy that this is yours for the taking. This is temptation. This is where you have an opportunity to actually sit back and evaluate what's happening. Are you going to make the right decision, right? When you have an urge, there's no you picking and choosing if the urge is coming. It just comes. It's on you. It's it's happening. It's you don't you can't prepare for it. You can't say, you know what? I'm going to accept the urge today. Right. The temptation is something that you have to be prepared for. Jesus taught the disciples how to pray. And he was like, you know, Father, keep me from falling into into temptation. Deliver me from evil. Keep me from falling into temptation. Temptation is you can be walking around on your path. And then there's a temptation, a temptation to do something sexually immoral that is going to put you in a situation where you're going to be spiritually damaged. Dropping heat, man, hit the like button. I'm trying to get deep with you guys so you can really have the tools you need to understand how to fight and how to recognize the schemes and the devices of the enemy, your adversary, the devil who walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Can he devour you? Can he devour you? Can he steal your virtues? Can he lure you into the forbidden fruit so that your life, your destiny can be destroyed? Temptation. Understand the difference between urges and temptation. These are both things that come via Satan, but they come in two different ways. Urges are intense waves of um, intense ways, intense waves of lustful, perverted thoughts that come to you in order to get you to masturbate. Masturbation is all about impulse. Every time you masturbate, you're 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 becoming more and more impulsive. You're becoming more and more disconnected from the world, from people. You're becoming more and more selfish. You're becoming more and more um, diluted and debased in your thinking when you masturbate and you're losing your virtues in the process, which is making you more debased, uh, more soulless, more callous towards the things of God. Temptation is something that we all face. Tempt we all face temptations, but we all don't get those type of urges. If you're getting those type of urges, you are under strong demonic influence. There are demonic entities in your life that is attempting to keep you in bondage to sexual perversion, masturbation, and all types of sexual sins. Temptation, you're going to face temptation. Jesus was tempted, you're going to be tempted. But the two are, they're totally different. Semen retention, when you start to retain your semen, the reason you're getting the urges is to reverse or to cancel or to nullify what you're doing. Oh, you're going to stop masturbating or you're going to stop 
holding the seat. You're going to start holding the seat. All right, let me turn the heat up on you. Let me send this wave of demonic, lustful thoughts wave your way so you can spill that seed and I can reestablish, retangle you into this covenant where I'm stealing your virtues. Temptation is something that you have the opportunity to say yes or no to so you can elevate to the next level. It's a test. Urges are basically demonic influence, impulses that come in waves that you can't prepare for. They're just on you, trying to get you to give in and release your seed. So you got to stay prayed up. You got to, you know, Google all the verses related to lust. Get these verses embedded in your soul. Meditate on these verses. When I say meditate, I don't mean repeat. I mean sit and really think on these verses. Meditate on these verses. Allow them to seep into your soul. Because when you're dealing with that, you know, you have to get these, you have to cast these demons out of you. You have to dispel these demons from your life that's giving you these intense urges. Because if you don't, you will give in to the urge. That's what's going to happen. At some point, you will give in because you're going to be overtaken by the spirit of lust and perversion. But if you have rid yourself, if you've dispelled, just, dispelled these spirits from your life, and then you're faced with temptations that every man faces, the Bible says no temptation has overcome you except for that which is common to man. If you're able to, if, if you get these spirits out of your life and you get control over your spiritual life, when you face these temptations, you will be, be able to overcome. This is Hold My Nuts Podcast, man. I love y'all, and I'm going to holler at you in the next video. Peace.